I've done the watermelon food combinations. I've done the grapefruit combinations. Now, what I'm gonna do in today's video is try pickle food combinations. Before we get started, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. We're gonna start out the video with pickle and whipped cream. There we go. All right, this might be a weird one. It also might taste pretty good with sweet and salty. Here we go. Exactly what I imagined it to be, a sweet and salty combination. It was actually pretty good. I would give this, honestly, I would give this an eight out of 10. Next up, we have pickle and Swiss cheese. Here we go. Perfect. I would give this, honestly, an 8.5 out of 10. It kind of tastes like a, a pickle cheese sandwich without the bread. This is a really good one. Here we have pickle and mayonnaise. This one, I'm expecting to be gross, but who knows, let's give it a try. Here goes nothing. Not bad. The thought of it is really weird, but it was actually not too bad. I would give this a six out of 10. Pickle and Hershey syrup. And I'm trying to picture chocolate and pickle together, and I just can't, I can't, I can't process it in my mind right now. So, let's give it a try anyways. That's enough, here we go. This was disgusting, thumbs down. They didn't go good together. I give this a two out of 10. Pickle and ranch seasoning. Here we go. Not bad. The ranch didn't really overpower the pickle. Pretty much tastes the pickle and a little bit of the ranch. And it's actually pretty good, but I would give this a seven out of 10. Pickle and lemon juice. That's too powerful for me. I don't like that. I'm not really a fan of sour, so this was pretty much a sour pickle. I give this a three and a half out of 10. Pickle and strawberry frosting. Strawberry frosting and pickle. Who would have thought? Okay, this is really weird. The texture was actually not bad. You can taste the frosting more than the pickle, but it was actually a really good balance. It was like more sweet than salty. Gosh, I, I get this eight out of 10. Pickle and ketchup. You know ketchup goes on everything, so this has to be good, right? Maybe a little too much, but here we go. Ketchup really does go on everything. I would give this a seven and a half out of 10. Pickle and mustard. So let's see if mustard goes on pickles. There we go. Okay, I don't really hate mustard. That's why it's probably not too bad. But for the people that don't like mustard, I don't recommend this. But I would give this a solid seven out of 10. Last but not least, we have pickle and tahini. I know tahini is good on fruit, but is it gonna be good on pickle? We're about to find out. It sure gives the pickle a kick. I'm not too much of a fan of this, but it wasn't horrible. I would give it a five out of 10. If you enjoy this kind of content, comment down below which fruit or vegetable I should do next for a food combination. And if you made it this far in the video, you might as well give me that like if you enjoyed the video, of course, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Well, that wraps up the video here, guys. I appreciate you watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.